beautiful people of God. Welcome to another video. I hope you all are doing well and keeping safe. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel, who have liked my videos and who comment on my videos. Thank you so much, guys. You don't know how much it means to me that you guys are doing that. Thank you so much for your love and support and I hope that you are going to continue to give me all your love and support and I truly, truly pray that God may bless all of you abundantly. All those who are new to my channel, hi and a warm welcome to all of you and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below join my lovely family. Today I want to talk about confidence in God. Any performance that is not based on true possession is short-lived. It is too dangerous to have too much confidence as it is not to have enough confidence. So now you're going to ask me how much confidence is needed then? Well, you see, the real question is, not how much confidence, but where does your confidence come from? What makes you confident? For example, me, when I have my makeup on, when I'm dressed well, when I have my hair done, I look smart, I look beautiful, I look amazing. It gives me confidence. It makes me feel like, you know, I am ready to take over the world. St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians in chapter 3 verse 4 to 5 says, Such is the confidence that we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are competent of ourselves to claim anything that is coming from us. Our competence is from God. What good is confidence if it is misplaced and misused? You can be confident but at the same time be ignorant. In fact, the times in my life that I was the most confident were the times I was the most ignorant. Why? Because my confidence didn't come from God. Most of the times, actually all the time, the confidence that God talks about is completely different from the confidence you and I talk about. Do not put your confidence into your performance, your degree, your connections, and your status. If that's the case, then no matter how beautiful your house is, it will be like a house built on sand, which will be wiped away in just a fraction of seconds. Here's something about me. I used to, actually I still do, I I have confidence in my competency, in how well my character is according to me, in how good I am at my job, my finances, the position that I hold. But at the end of the day, I am convicted that this confidence that I have is not my own. My confidence comes from God. Sometimes I really think that I'm not good enough. But then I realize when I think I'm alone, I have God. I am just an empty vessel without God. In fact, I can't even stand on my own without God. Forget about speaking through a camera to all of you. I don't even have the confidence to do that. If only you knew what goes on inside me, when I start to speak, you would know how bad of a speaker I am. I cannot trust myself because I am not God. I can change my mind like a chameleon that changes its colors. And that is the reason I need God the most. Because He is God and my confidence comes from Him and Him alone. You know, when I think of all of this, it makes me realize how little I am and how unworthy I am without Christ. I am made worthy and whole in Christ alone. The soul that was transformed on his way to Damascus to Paul by Christ speaks about being confident in God. 
In his letter to the Ephesians in chapter 3, verse 20, St. Paul says, Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. In God, you will find yourself reaching the stars. When God is with you, nothing in this world can stop you. In him, you are unstoppable because God is unstoppable. Remember that you are a conqueror because your God is a conqueror. You are a dream achiever. Why? Because your God is the creator and the accomplisher of your dreams. In him, you can climb the highest tower and be right at the top because your God himself is the tower. In him, you can get that dream job. In him, you can complete that degree. In him, you will find your suitable life partner. In him, you will be healed. In him, you can do all things. Because Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, For nothing is impossible with God. Unlock your authentic power today because the key to your confidence is God. Let me say that again. Unlock your authentic power today because the key to your confidence is God. And once you've had the access to this key, my dear people of God, your entire life will change. Even if this world challenges you, you have nothing to be afraid of because you stand on a solid rock. Your foundation is Christ and you will not fall. Let God be your confidence. If you confide in yourself, you will lose. No matter how good you are at nailing what you do, if you are not doing it with Christ, I am sorry to say this, what you're working for so hard will not prevail. It's all going to be in vain. We can't be boasting about ourselves because we've got nothing to boast about. St. Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians, in chapter 1 verse 31 says, Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Nothing makes us superior or inferior. Everything that you possess comes from God. Everything that you are comes from God. You know, I don't feel worthy at all because I've had that glimpse of the greatness of God. And I am proud to say that the woman that I am today is because I found my confidence in Jesus Christ. You know, when I say this, it's not like I don't feel. I sometimes forget where my confidence comes from because I am so blinded by everything that goes on in and around me. And that is the reason I need God the most because He is the only one who can bring me back to my feet safe and strong. For all those who are struggling with being confident, I'll link down some of the scriptures um, on confidence in God in the description box. These are the scriptures that I repeat on a daily basis and uh, these scriptures have helped me a lot with my confidence. Repeat them every day and claim them over your life and you will see the difference. My dear people of God, you will see the transformation in yourself. When you stop with yourself and you start with God, He takes over. And when God takes over, fear has to leave. Anxiety has to leave. There is no place for none of that. You are courageous. You are brave. You are strong. You are incomparable. You are confident in God. Let me repeat that again. You are courageous. You are strong. You are brave. You are incomparable. You are confident in God. Declare it over yourself. Walk with your head up high because you are the child of the Most High God. And that's all for today's video, you guys. If you really like this video, then please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up.
And if you really feel that there is someone out there who needs to listen to this, then please share this video with them. God bless you all and keep me in your prayers and I will keep you all in my prayers. And until my next video, bye-bye, take care, God bless.